What's going on guys? Kyle Kessler here today with KK's Bowling Vlog. This fine Sunday morning, I am on my way to 20th Century Lanes in Lima, Ohio to bowl an eight game dual pattern sweeper that is being run by my buddy Cody Perrine. So I'm gonna make a video on my tournament experience today for you guys. Um, we're bowling on dual patterns. So on the left lane, we got uh, 48 feet and on the right lane, we have 36 feet. Uh, both patterns are about two to one. I don't know the exact specifications of the pattern until I get to the tournament. So in my bag today is the Hammer Bowling Purple Hammer, as always. Um, Hammer Bowling Web Tour, Ebonite Matrix Solid. And to round out my bag, I have the Track Bowling Precision Solid, Hammer Black Widow Pink, and the Triton Elite. So I tried to tried to bring my most six diverse bowling balls um, that can be altered with surface to, um, to fit the need of whatever pattern I may be bowling on today. Um, I was given the lengths, as I said, but not the shape of the patterns, so I'm um, kind of going into this a little bit blind, but given the fact that we're bowling a sport shot sweeper today, really my strategy is going to be to just figure out each lane as quick as I possibly can. I know the lengths and the ratios of the patterns, but I do not know the shape of the patterns as far as where the units of oil are placed. So I'm going to want to figure out where my hold is and where my hook is on each of the two respective patterns quickly. And speed control um, is always something that I think everybody struggles with, but it's really the biggest key when you're bowling on two separate patterns and making sure that you keep your speeds where they need to be on both of the respective lanes. Obviously on the 36 foot pattern, I'm probably going to be throwing it quite a bit harder than I am on the 48 foot pattern, at least on the fresh, um, you know, before the oil in the lane depletes. We are bowling on MF HPL as a surface, which is um, a high friction surface that actually produces more friction than wood um, in regards to the surface of the bowling balls that's gyrating going down the lane. So AMF HPL, um, you can pretty much tell when a bowling alley is AMF HPL or when they have AMF HPL lanes because there's going to be um, strips of wood is what it looks like even though the lanes are synthetic the boards are coming like groups of twos and threes and there's no range finder um, the range finder being the big dark cheater board as some people call it down the lane placed at the five and ten board to give you kind of a reference so the range finders are something you're going to find on pro and lane more commonly than um, really any other lane surface amf hpl as i said previously not going to have those range finders. I'm excited to bring this video to you guys. As you can see I'm wearing my mid sportswear Yen and Yang jersey today. Uh, shouts out to them, shouts out to Miss Sportswear for providing me with some great comfortable clothing that looks great to bowl in. You know my philosophy has always been look good, feel good, play good. These jerseys both look and feel awesome so really the only thing that's up to uh, left to be done is for me to throw some good shots hopefully. Um, make a little bit of money. The entry for the tournament is $75. There's a lot of uh, brackets and side action going on, so I did get some extra money out of the ATM today. Hopefully we're able to make it into a profitable experience.
well. I was minus 66 going into the last game. Uh, I was able to shoot 244 to get to minus 22, which was good enough for ninth place um, and a $25 casher. I broke even on my side pots, so um, no money, really no money won, no money lost today by the time you look at gas money. Um, some things I wanted to take away from the event. So I was very happy with my new fit. Uh, I got through eight games relatively pain free. Um, for the first time in a long time, I've bowled, it's the first time I've bowled a lot of games. Really since I graduated college, first time I've bowled eight games. Um, and relatively no finger or thumb pain right now, which is awesome. It tells me that my new fit is good, um, which is always nice. The ball is coming off my hand online today. Fit was very comfortable. Um, as far as lane play goes, so on the long pattern, which was 48 feet on the left lane, hooked a little bit more than I expected. I started with my precision solid pin up with no weight hold at 2000 grit. And that ball gave me a really great reaction on the left lane for the first, I'd say two and a half, three games of the day. Um, then I went to my Black Widow Pink and my Trine Elite. Really on the long, I struck a lot today. Uh, I was very confident on the long. I really felt like I was gonna strike pretty much every time I got up to throw a shot on the long pattern, which long has always been a strength of mine, so really no surprise, at least to me there. So that was comforting. Um, one area that I recognize that I do need to improve on after day is definitely the transition on the short pattern. I started with my pin down purple hammer at 500 grit on the short pattern. And that gave me a really good ball reaction for about a game and a half. And then it got to the point to where if I stood on top of the pattern, it was 36 feet and tried to throw hard, the purple hammer would hook too quick um, and I would leave a split high. But then if I cheated my feet at all left and tried to open the lane up, I couldn't get it to hook. Um, even if I softened up my ball speed, if I softened up my ball speed, it would just grip the lane way too fast. So. The purple hammer was good for the first couple games. I really struggled on the right lane up until the last game, um, to be honest. So I really need to work on bowling on short patterns, that intermediate transition, because I was really pretty lost. Um, there were a lot of games where I felt like I could have had huge numbers if I could have just threw together some strings and it was just strike, spare, strike, spare, strike open, or some combination of the sort. So that is my takeaway as to what I need to work on today. Um, the last game I actually switched to my Black Widow Pink with a really strong layout on it on the short lane and that's what got me through. I struck every ball on that uh, on that lane that game actually. Um, the only thing I left were a couple 10 pins on the long pattern. So it was fantastic. All in all, I'm really happy with how the tournament went today. Um, I shot spares well. I chopped two, a 3-6 and a 3-6-10. Aside from that, I didn't miss any makeable spares. I missed the head pin, I think, two times all day, which, you know, given that we were bowling on two different length sport patterns, I thought was pretty good. I bowled with uh, Caleb Johnson, who's on the UNOH team. He was my cross all day. He bowled absolutely fantastic. He went, I think, plus 100. Um, and, you know, he, uh, he pretty much whacked him. He threw the purple hammer on the right lane all day. I think that because his was pin up, it just did a little bit better job of getting around the corner so he was able to get left and shape it around the pattern a little bit more than me. So I think maybe I'm going to drill another purple hammer pin up um, before too long. But I mean, as far as it goes, you know, again, I felt like it was really positive today. It's always nice, you know, when you don't lose money bowling or when you make a little bit of money. All in all, I came out five bucks in the green, but you know, I do have to pay for gas to and from, and I got some food, so. But I had a good time. My buddy Cody Perrin ran it. He did a fantastic job. Um, his mom, Angie, kept score for us and ran all the, uh, the brackets and stuff like that. So thanks to them, and big thanks to everybody at 20th Century Lanes. It was a fantastic event today. Um, had a really good turnout, you know, for being a Sunday in May in Ohio, and all in all, I have no complaints, so. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Um, stay tuned for more. I'm going to be bowling a lot more tournaments in the near future, and I plan on doing a little bit of a vlogging experience on every one of them and just kind of let you guys know, you know, any of the new equipment that I'm throwing and what's going through my mind, what I'm trying to, you know, work on in my physical game and so on. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. I'm going to be bringing a lot more content to you guys very soon. And um, I guess that's all for now, guys.